Hello everyone, I'm Simon and welcome to Cold Water Tanks. Uh, so I finally decided to get started on my 1000 liter basement project. Uh, I still haven't decided what to keep in the tank, but uh, I have decided I want to try a deep sand bed in there. I'm getting the sand directly from the ocean, uh, which means there should be quite a bit of light in the sand already. Uh, but the disadvantage though is that it will be very dirty. Uh, I didn't really rinse the sand much at all before putting it in the tank, which I'm hoping will be fine once it's settling down, but I am expecting it to take quite a while. Uh, I added a little bit of water to the tank before putting the sand in. In hindsight I should have added all the sand first and, uh, and the water after, but with the amount of sand needed I, uh, I had to collect the sand over several days. And I wasn't sure if it uh, would be good for the life in there, to, if there was no water. Uh, most sources I've been finding online says that the depth of the sand should be about 4-6 to six inches. Uh, but some sources says that 2 two inches might even be enough for it to get the benefits of a deep sand bed. Uh, which is that it works as uh, biological filtration, which uh, supposedly will help break down waste and uh, remove nitrates. Which is something I usually get a bit of in my tanks. Uh, some say though that there's uh, big risks involved in using deep sand beds. Uh, mainly that uh, pockets of toxic gases might get stuck in the sand, uh, which if released into the tank will kill all the creatures there. Uh, from what I've read though, this should not be a problem if there's enough sand sifting living organisms in the sand, uh, moving everything around uh, so that the pockets of gas can't be allowed to form. Uh, I won't really go any deeper into that here, uh, I'm not an expert in this at all. I will add some links in the description though that uh, discusses deep sand beds if anyone's interested in learning more about this. My main reason for wanting this though is that uh, I want the tank to be as natural as possible. Uh, it might not always be very beautiful I think, but, uh, but I find it very interesting and fun to see what kind of tiny life the sand bed uh, could support. Uh, getting water for the tank is also quite the hassle. Uh, I should find a better way to do this, but it uh, it works for now. Uh, at least I'm able to get it quite close to my house, so no need to travel too far. As you can see it's quite quiet in my area during winter, uh, but from spring to autumn there's a lot of fishing tourists traveling here, as the angling opportunities around here is quite good. Not the most interesting area to look at underwater this, uh, as this place is artificially filled in to make, uh, make the pier here. There were lots of little hitchhikers that came with the sand. Uh, loads of snails and small crabs which I'm guessing are juvenile European green crab. And even this little sand shrimp or brown shrimp managed to get into my tank alive. As you can see, the cloudiness is pretty horrible after filling it up with water. Uh, there were three big external canister pumps included with the tank when I bought it. And after cleaning and going through them, uh, the Fluval FX6 was leaking. So I'll only be running the two Eheim pumps for now, which should be enough, at least at first. It took several days actually for the cloudiness to settle down uh, and for the, the top layer of crap to disappear with the pumps running only during daytime. I decided to try setting a few traps by the dock, baited with crushed crabs, uh, to see if there were any, any potential inhabitants for the tank in this area. Uh, there was nothing really interesting in the traps this time, 
Uh, just a bunch of common wealth, common sea stars and, uh, and a couple of European green crabs. Uh, these crabs are everywhere in this area. They're really cool looking and I think they would be quite easy to keep in a tank. Uh, I haven't really tried them still though, at least not this big, as I suspect they would make a big mess in the tank. And they'd catch and eat most of the other inhabitants. And I'm sure it would be a fun critter to, to observe though. As you can see, there's a lot of sea squirts on the walls of the floating dock here, and also on any rope hanging down. But not as much light here as I was expecting, actually. On the dock featured in one of my sea spider videos, the, the walls are completely covered by anemones and mussels. This area though has a bit of brackish water sometimes, uh, as there's a lot of fresh water coming into the ocean here when it's raining. And so I'm guessing that might be the reason why there's not as much light here as it is on the other dock. The only issue for me with this tank though is that it's quite shallow, so if I make too big a sand bed, there won't be much space left for water. Uh, thus I've decided to try having a big bunch of rocks on one side of the tank, uh, with little sand under, uh, and a deeper sand bed on the other side of the tank. Now I decided to go with rocks covered with uh, purple coralline algae for this tank. In hindsight, I should not have added this much water before setting up the rocks, as this water is 4 degrees Celsius, so putting my hands in there was, was quite simply painful. I probably could have used a bit more time setting this up, and, uh, and I might make some minor changes when I know what I'm actually putting in there. But I am okay with the first draft for now. About half the tank will have a sand bed about uh, 10 to 12 centimeters deep, uh, which is about 4, 4, 4 to 5 inches, I think. The other side with the rocks should have a good amount of hiding spots for, for any creatures I put in there. At least if they're not too big. What I'm thinking is to have the flow of the water pushed towards the side with the sand. Uh, since this sand is very fine-grained, it uh, hopefully will move towards that end and build up there instead of on the rocks on the other side of the tank. Because it does, I know with this sand from another tank that uh, the sand sort of makes a little carpet on the rocks which doesn't really look nice. Uh, 
Uh, next step is to let the pumps run for a while to get the water as clean as possible, uh, and then start adding some creatures. Since everything in here is from the ocean, I don't think cycling the tank is really necessary. I've never found any traces of nitrate or ammonia uh, in any of my tanks, uh, even though I added critters almost instantly in all of them. Uh, I did do a measurement of ammonia, nitrite, nitrates and pH uh, in the water in this tank, and uh, as expected everything showed no traces of anything. Uh, and the pH was about 8, uh, which is what it's supposed to be in the, in the ocean water around here. Anyways, that's all for this video. Uh, I hope you found it interesting. If you have any input at all, be it suggestions, advice, questions or whatever about uh, this setup or, or anything else, I welcome your comments. Uh, so until next time, thanks for watching!